Some animals just have the right common name. This species of howler monkey lives from southeastern Mexico to northern Colombia and Peru and inhabits both primary and secondary forest. Howler monkeys have relatively small home ranges of 3 to 75 hectares and usually use less than a kilometer in one single day. When an animal eats mostly leaves, it doesn't need to travel far in a rainforest. Two to 45 individuals comprise a troop. Unlike in other species, the youngest adult of each sex is dominant. So much for respect for your elders. Dominance is prorated, so the oldest is at the bottom of the hierarchy. And just what are the perks? First choice of food and the best sleeping sites. Also, the alpha male gets to mate with all the females. He shows his sexual interest by flicking his tongue. It's not always one big happy troop. Some adult females can kidnap other babies, ripping them from the grasp of their mothers and then beating on them. This supposedly reduces competition for their own babies. It's difficult to tell the sex of many species of wild animals from afar, but that's not the case with the mantled howler monkey. Howlers and sloths are the only New World arboreal mammals that feed mostly on leaves. You know, like cows. Cellulose is hard to break down, and only through fermentation can it be utilized. Howlers ferment the leaves in their hind gut, so they are not as efficient as deer and cows. Howlers eat leaves from dozens of tree species. Generally, younger leaves have less cellulose and toxins, and more protein. Of course, trees don't like losing their leaves to monkeys, so some tree species produce more toxic leaves after being fed upon by howlers. Howlers also eat flowers and fruit, which can be 30 to 50 percent of their diet. Figs, the favorite fruit of so many rainforest animals, are also eaten a lot. It is thought that fruit that is infested with insects is sought out by the howlers for its extra protein. Leaves are a low energy food, which results in more lethargic monkeys which can spend up to three-fourths of their time resting or sleeping. For howler monkeys, the most difficult time is dry season, when leaves are less nutritious and have more toxins. Weak individuals may die. Climate change brings more severe dry seasons, and all of nature suffers. Howlers can live 25 years in the wild. There are no more harpy eagles anymore in Costa Rica to attack howlers. But they do have their health problems, like mosquitoes and bot flies. Look at the one in the upper left. The alpha male always keeps a watchful eye for predators. <laughs>